Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a skincare video. I don't usually do skincare videos, but I thought I'd give it a go today because I bought this new Youthful Boost 100% Hydrogel Mask by Neutrogena. And I thought, hmm, it's interesting, I wonder what it's going to do because my skin's quite oily and I break out really easily. So I have to be really careful with what I put on my face. So we'll just see how we go and then like I'll keep you updated on how, what it does to my face, really. So it says, this unique hydrogel mask contains two types of hyaluronic acid, which helps to improve the smoothness and elasticity of the skin. This formula also contains a denicline, I don't know if that's how you say it, I'm not, sorry, which helps to reduce the signs of aging. This is no ordinary sheet mask. It is made out of 100% hydrogel material, which contours to your skin sealing in the formula for optimal absorption and is clinically proven to hydrate. It's gentle on the skin apparently and it says directions for best results. Apply to your face and leave on for 20 to 30 minutes after cleansing and before applying the serum to give your skin an extra boost of hydration. So let's try it. I'm going to leave it on for 20 minutes because I don't really have time to sit here for half an hour with it on. So I'm also going to do like my updated everyday makeup routine as well. So. Yeah. All oh, these masks make me anxious. What the fuck is this? <gasps> what am I doing? What am I doing? Just getting everywhere. It's super annoying. Okay, so this is obviously for your face. The part you put. Oh, yeah, that's the wet side, I think. So. No, this is the right side. I'm so confused. Okay, let's just put that on my face. Are you done? Oh my goodness. <laughs> these, are, these are always too big for my face, so we're just gonna see. So obviously, it's supposed to be that. I'm hopeless with this. Okay. Put that underneath the eyes, maybe? I'm sure I've done it wrong. I'm sure I've done it wrong. No, I haven't actually, because how could it be wrong? Okay. It's making my skin go weird because I just put on like the L'Oreal. Um, it's making me look like fucking, I've got black freckles on my face or something. Because I put on this like, the retouch stuff for your for your roots for, by L'Oreal and yeah. I don't know if that's supposed to be trimmed or let's just sit in place. Let's just pull it down a little bit. Here. Pull it down a little bit. Okay, so that obviously is supposed to go like that. My face is really small, so it's really hard for me to actually. This is not gonna happen. This is not what, like what? Okay, let's just let them hang there. What the actual fuck? Okay, what have I done? Is that normal? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so maybe that is supposed to be like that. Go down. My eyes, my face is always too small, so... What the fuck? This can't be right. It can't be. I don't want any. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to cut those little parts. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Like, just let it hang like that, I guess. Okay. This does not look right, but I'm gonna just wing it anyways. I'm sure I've done it wrong, but you know what? I'm gonna just peel that off. Oh my god, this is so messy. Oh, it actually feels kind of cool. I can't risk this little bit here, but you know what? Just, I'm just pretending that's not happening. I'm just using my eyes. It's supposed to probably sit like that. But uh, yeah, okay, you're supposed to obviously trim it to your preferred size, so I'm probably going to just. 
I'm just gonna let it sit because I can't honestly be bothered to do that. Okay, interesting. This feels so weird. I feel like I'm off a sci-fi movie or something. Oh, it goes right over your lips. Surely not. Okay, I'm gonna sit with that then. For an intense treatment, leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on for 20 minutes. Right, there we go. I honestly look like something from a sci-fi movie. I feel like a doll. One of those plastic dolls that people have sex with. That's what I feel like. <laughs> I can't show emotion right now, so just... Yeah, I'm better off being off the camera because I know you're boring as fuck. All right, so I'll be back. So I didn't end up um, trimming the loose ends because it just got, the time was just running out and I was like, you know what, what's the age of point? I was running around doing things. And yeah, so my skin does feel like I just injected it with water. Like it does feel really, really nice, but we just need to see, I need to, yeah, I think I need to try it just a couple more times before I can actually say, yeah, I love this and plus, I need to see what it does to my skin if it breaks out in a couple days. And we'll just see. I might try it again and then just let you know what happens. But yeah, this is just, it's just too big for my face. I could easily trim it, but yeah. My skin does feel super duper hydrated though. So the timer is coming to an end. So I've had it on for about 20 minutes now. 11, 20 minutes. And yeah. And I hate this floppy bit here. It's really annoying. It makes me feel really, I feel really plastic. I feel like a Barbie right now. In a fucking plastic box. Look at that. Yeah. It's cool, but feels cool. It was just really cheap. So that's why I thought, oh, I'll buy it and see what it does. But I'm gonna actually buy a couple more and just really get down to the nitty gritty of it. Before I can actually recommend it to anyone. Oh, there we go, the timer. Is done. So let's just start off by peeling. We'll peel off the top first, I think. Um, oh, it comes up all together. My god, my skin does feel so soft and supple. I'm just gonna squish it out because my fingers aren't clean, and apparently, it's supposed to like massage the residue into your skin and neck before putting on like your moisturizer and stuff. So I'm just using my Oily Skin Moisture Defense by Skin Institute. I've been using Skin Institute for years, but I'm actually looking at some, finding a new skincare routine because yeah, it just doesn't seem to be working for me anymore because I've just been using it for so long. So yeah, I'm just gonna get a little tiny pea-sized amount. My face is dry, just making sure. It's super cold. I love it. It feels so good, honestly. It feels so smooth. Which is a size amount. Okay. 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 My skin does feel good though, there's no denying that. I need to buy it again, like I really do need to buy it again, but it does feel so good. So supple and just, feels like baby skin. It is a youthful boost. I will admit it is a youthful boost. Like straight out, straight away, instantly, you just feel so nice. My skin feels so good. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use my Skin Institute I Believe Eye Cream and just a tiny little bit of that. So if you have any like skincare recommendations, please let me know because I have really oily skin and I'm prone to breakouts. So I have to be really careful with what I actually put on my skin. That's why I don't do many skincare videos or try out new face masks because I'm really petrified of it going pear shaped and making my skin a joke. But we just can't risk. Breakouts, I just can't. 
can't stand it. So now I'm going with my Skin Institute Ultra Firming Eye and Lip Cream. It's just a little bit thicker. I don't usually use it on my eyes, I just use a tiny bit. And then I just put it on my, my neck. So my skin looks really good. And it, not only does it look really good, like instantly, but my skin feels beautiful. I kind of just can't wait to put my makeup on and it's just gonna sit really nice. I can just tell. Hoping it doesn't break me out in the next couple of days. We're just gonna have to see what happens. That's really good. I'm so happy. All right, look. This youthful boost mask of like straight off the bat is really good. I don't know what it's gonna do to me in the next couple of days. If it does break me out, I'm gonna put it on my Instagram story and I'm gonna let you know. But I don't know, it just feels really, really nice. So I'm just gonna go with, yes, it's a yes for me. I'm gonna buy it a few more times and definitely check. If, if anything goes wrong with it and I do find that it's not good, I will let you guys know. Everyone's skin's different though. Like you can't really be like, okay, yeah, this is good. It's gonna be good for all of you. Cause it's not, we all got different skin. And yeah, it's really smoothing. It says in my case, it's smoothing. And yeah, I believe, yes. It does everything that it says it should do. So, it definitely does everything that it says it does. So, I'm pretty happy with that. It says, it helps replenish the skin, helps to reduce the signs of aging and leaves skin supple, smooth and youthful. And that it did, just instantly it did that. But I can't really like, I can't speak for everyone. It's for me, it worked, and the price that it was, I'm gonna go buy a whole ten of them. I think I want this before I do my makeup every day. I know it's not good. I'm not gonna do it every day, but I will do it once a week. And it's also made in Korea, and Korean skincare is amazing. Korean everything, Korean beauty is is great. So yeah, I love it.